Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Jad Modella. And to those who have just subscribed, welcome, welcome, welcome. To those who haven't, please do subscribe right now. Alright, today we are going to be uh, doing a debut. Wow, a debut of my new vlog setup here in my studio. This is my new setup and I really like it. This is actually inspired by uh, the studio slash garage of Danny Chu, the guy behind the smart doll. And uh, siguro if you have you know been, been stalking my posts, I have been posting a lot about smart dolls lately and uh, yeah, that is my new thing right now. I have been so hooked ever since I uh, came back from the States. Um, I think it was uh, one of my friends from the BJD groups that encouraged me or introduced me to uh, Smart Dolls. And uh, when I was in the States, I didn't have much to do. And so I was online and I started checking it out. And I kind of fell in love with the, the look because it kind of has this uh, nostalgic look of anime and uh, I don't know for some reason whenever I watch anime I, I have this feeling of going back into the past when I was still a kid I don't know there's this feeling of, of uh, imagine a, a rainy Sunday you don't have anything to do you switch on the television you watch anime and you hear those Japanese songs or soundtrack and uh, you know the characters uh, it kind of gives you that feeling uh, of childhood so when I saw the dolls, I was like, wow, these are amazing. And uh, I, I, I ordered a couple. A couple! <laughs> what a lie. <laughs> a couple. I didn't say I ordered one. Well, true. How many is a couple though? More than two. Because <laughs> a couple is two. Okay. <laughs> I'm already, you know, being real here. I'm not saying that this is going to be just one, isa lang, or tama na, like the BJD. I said just seven, but now they're like seven, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay. 19 and one head. And one body. Hindi sila match kasi. So, you know, wag na tayo magpanggap. Wag na tayo magpakunwari na parang last na to. Control, control. Okay. Whatever. All right, just like this. Actually, I I, I, I went um, full force when it comes to Smart Dolls and Danny Chu. I'm a huge fan. I've been watching his videos and hence this setup over here. I saw his table and I think, of course, the table is very you know, amazing. I think it's, it's, uh, it's custom made. And I tried to search for it in Ikea because, uh, you know, the aesthetics of Ikea, it's, it's, you know, somehow the same. But when we got there, it was expensive. It was like 15,000 pesos, sold out. So what I did, I took a photo. Sorry, Ikea. I took a photo. Meron naman sa site nila eh. And then I showed it to my, my people here in, in our house. And he said, kaya namin gawin yan. So ginawa nila. So thank you very much, John Ray and Totom, for my custom table. Custom because the one in Ikea has a drawer and it's it's pretty useless when you're doing vlogs You don't need to like open stuff here, right? And uh, well, this one's from Ikea, so Win-win and, and the back Yeah, kay, kay Danny Chu kasi his back uh, background is like cement May such an area and it's like cement and then all the BJDs all, all the smart dolls are there And then he also has like an area that there's like a pegboard so this is like the closest that I could find. They also got this in Ikea. And uh, yeah, wala pa siya laman. I still don't know what to hang here. <laughs> yeah, and some of the stuff that you hang here are all sold out. So come on, Ikea, Pilipinas. Please uh, restock soon. All right, but anyway, today we're going to be unboxing or unpacking my very, very first, my very first smart doll. All right, I really, really, uh, um, you know, held back. Uh, to, to really wait for the, the perfect time, the perfect setup for me to unbox or to un unpack my, my very first smart doll. And uh, okay, what was my first smart doll? We ordered uh, online with the help of Cherry, my friend. 
we ordered online. I was in the States when I ordered this and uh, it was pretty fast actually. After a few days, I already received it. And this is the bag that it comes with. Actually, it comes in a box. And then, uh, syempre, I didn't want to bring the box any way from, the, from America to the Philippines. So I took it out. So this is how it's, uh, it looks. It's a tote bag, a canvas tote bag. And let's open it. It comes with this box over here. Okay, we're going to open that, open that later on. And, ooh. This is the actual smart doll. And it is kneeling, guys. It's kneeling. That's how uh, they, 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 you know, pack the dolls. It's more and more sturdy and more uh, secure. All right, so take it out of the bag. Okay, by the way, this, the name is Independence. Okay, the name of this doll is Independence, and she is in cinnamon color. Ooh, so pretty. Wow, and look at that, guys. And she comes in uh, with, with her own underwear, so it's pretty nice. Look at that. It's very articulated. You can like raise the arms, twist the hand, and the hands over here, and the head. There you go. Let's see if it can stand on its own. But guys, look at that. There's a hole here. And I heard uh, that it comes with its own stand. So we'll check later on. But let's check the, the stability of this doll. If it can stand on its own. Because some BJDs are kind of flimsy. It snaps and then it falls. But let's see if it can stand on its own. That is the test of a good balanced doll. Okay. Ha! Huh. She can stand, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so uh, let's put this aside. Okay, what's inside the box? Okay, so we get a card. Of course, this is uh, like a instruction card. Welcome dot smart doll dot jp that's i think that that's a site stop and first read the welcome guide choking and poke hazard contains small pointy parts that humans or animals should avoid swallowing or poking eyes with avoid getting fingers pinched in joints ah that hurts uh, avoid prolonged periods in strong light because of uh this is uh, vinyl and resin i guess and it's gonna discolor keep joints dry Whatever you do, do not feed after midnight. Okay, that's weird. Use stain prevention measures if using dark clothing. Oh, because it tends to uh, stain the, the, the fabric. Some fabrics that uh, contains uh, dyes, it can stain the skin. And more accessories at shop.smartdoll.jp. Oh my god. Social media hashtag is hashtag smartdoll. All right. So we get that. I'm gonna have this framed. And it comes with a wig. All right, the wig. And here's the stand I was saying, I was mentioning a while ago. Okay, so uh, basically these stands that come with it is um, additional support because it can stand on its own. But if you, uh, like personally, I love taking photos of dolls. That's why I collect them, not just, you know, to, to collect, but take photos of them. So sometimes, like, the levels of, of the ground is not um, flat enough. So, um, you know, this is extra, um, like, stability. All you have to do is just stick it in here at the back, but not all the way through so that you can, like, twist. Okay. And then this is like a, a monopod. There you go. It goes all the way to the back, right? So more secure. But then when you take photos, you can like put it at the back and like keep it like hide, right? So it cannot be seen basically. But let's let's uh, put the wig on. Oh, by the way, guys, did you notice my shirt? It's a Mirai shirt. Guys, this is this is DIY. We made it here in our house, yeah. Cause, cause I uh, a few months ago I bought this contraption called the cricket, cricket, 
And we never used it. We didn't know how. Yeah, we did once and then we forgot about it. We didn't know how to use it. I got so lazy to, you know, find out how to do it. And the good thing, Teresa's there and she's like very patient enough to like check out YouTube and how to do it and stuff like that, what you need. And then she printed this on, on like transfer paper. Is it transfer paper? What do you call it? Dark something, iron on something. And then, uh, yeah, we ironed it on my shirt and now it's there. Because guys, this shirt is not available. They don't have it anymore. They used to have shirts. Yeah, but I don't know, they stopped. They stopped making shirts, so make your own okay so i've been i've been checking out um the the smart doll site uh on the the do's and don'ts and how you do things and how not to do things when you um put the wig suggestion is to take the head off all right so it's not gonna like like the body is not gonna be like all over the place so all you do is just hold it here there you go and then just twist there you go all right, so, and then the wig looks like this. It has like a stretchable interior. Interior. Okay, so I don't know how you guys put your wigs. I, I mean, like, I, I put it here, hold it, and then stretch at the back. Just be very careful that it doesn't fly off your hand or your table because that would be sad. Okay, and adjust, let's adjust the wig, okay, we're gonna put like, there you go, and then just make sure the hairs are uh, out of uh, the way, you put it back, and twist again, there you go, until you hear a snap, okay, there you go, okay, so, there you have it, let's remove this first. Okay, so this is Independence, that's her name, her official name in uh, the site. She looks very pretty, she's very, very pretty. And of course, you can move, she's very poseable. So when when you use, or whenever you play uh, with, with dolls or smart dolls or ball jointed dolls, do not force the joints because uh, there's a reason why it doesn't move, okay? Just be very gentle. If you see like lines here, the joints where the lines are, so that's where you can move the joints. There you go. But do it slowly, all right? Because, you know, if you have very heavy hands, you cannot be like... <laughs> Look how cl clever this is. Like, um, if you bend this hand, it goes up to here only, but then the real hand, it can bend up to here, right? So what did they do? They have this thing that you can like extend the arm so that, well, it kind of looks weird, but come on, it's a doll, right? See, and then when you put it back, you have to put it back like there and slide it back in, right? See, amazing. Same thing with the feet, the legs, they are all very much uh, movable there you go and i really can't wait to uh, have my hands on uh, the clothes and the accessories and whatever they have available okay so that is the basic thing that you get inside the box the wig the stand and uh, the welcome card me personally i keep these stuff um for for storage you never know if you you know on a transfer like you have something to put them in all right so that's the first one okay the next one that we got was uh this one wasn't brand new it was uh well no i think this was brand new but it came from a seller okay it wasn't from the site and uh same thing canvas bag box and this doll Okay, so this time this is the male version of the smart doll. Um, his name is Gemini. That's his name. Yeah, Gemini. And we slide it out. Bubble wrap and another layer of plastic. There you go. 
and okay ladies and gentlemen this is gemini in uh, cinnamon again color a cinnamon color and he comes with his own um, of course undergarments and let us check if he can stand without the help of, of oh let's fix this he can stand all right so what's inside the box i assume it's the same thing yep it has a wig over here for gemini and of course again the welcome card and the stand that's it i guess they give extra space here in this box because when you order the dolls you can also order clothes and accessories so they just throw everything inside this box okay so smart amazing all right so uh, let's take out the hair comes in this like net thing over here i remember my hairstyle was this when i was a kid yeah okay again remove the head put the front part you know sometimes what i do i open it up i know it's it's wrong but whatever there you go and you flip it fell thank god it's vinyl because if it was a bjd it was broken just adjust and we uh, put back the head just be careful the hair is out of the way there you go okay so guys this is Gemini over here and uh, we're gonna take out his stand and put it at the back same thing as independence and there you go so there you go guys that's independence and gemini my first two smart dolls but we're not done yet i have one more um i got this one when i arrived here already in the philippines and it is a uh, second hand smart doll and uh me i'm not pretty much for uh for the brand new or whatever it i'm not particular so uh, it's okay as long as it's, it's, it looks good it's fine with me okay so again it comes with its own box and this time this is very interesting because this the first two is uh cinnamon there's also tea but this one is cocoa beautiful color hold on well she just comes with her bubble wrap doesn't come with the uh, with the plastic Ooh, look at her she is so pretty look at that guys and look at their faces it's very anime right? Okay, make her stand. Because we're gonna check out what's inside the box. Her name, by the way, is Genesis, guys. It, and uh, what's nice about these smart dolls is that they come with names, but then you can change the names. Names that you would like to, you know, name your dolls. So uh, let's check what's inside, of course. There's a wig. And of course, she has her own stand of the same color. Coco. And oh, it comes with an, with a sponge. Cause I, I I saw in one of the videos that the Coco version of, of the smart doll is easier to scratch when you handle it. So the thing that you do if or or not just scratch, because the most of the time when you hold dolls, maybe the, the, the hand oils kind of go to the doll and kind of gets really uh, shiny. So all you have to do is just rub it with this thing over here and it's gonna you know go back to how it looked before okay so let's see what the hair looks like mm. okay 
I was expecting her um, to have like really really curly hair. Ganda sana yun, ano? Like big curly hair. It was so beautiful. Okay, so let's see if we can put the wig without removing the head. We're not gonna follow them. Well, yeah, it's kind of difficult, but we'll see. Okay. Hold. And pull. Ha! Done! <laughs> it's easy. Okay, and then we put the stand again. Here at the back. Okay. And... This is Genesis. Okay, so Genesis, Gemini, and Independence. My first three um, smart dolls. C amazing so again this is independence this is gemini and this is genesis or i'm gonna ch i'm gonna change the names actually i i want um independence is gonna be yuki i want it to be japanese themed and of course gemini is gonna be akihiro and of course um genesis is going to be iman I love the name Iman. Very ethnic, very exotic, right? So uh, there you have it, guys. My first three smart dolls. And I actually have a couple more that's going to be arriving pretty soon. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I really do hope that I get to visit Japan in the future and check out um, the actual store. Uh, it's called the Mirai store, Mirai Tokyo store. And uh, somehow uh, I, I pray that I get to meet Danny Chu. And uh, yeah, I only stalk him. <laughs> I stalk him. I, I, I just check out his posts. Oh yeah, he did. He, he liked my post. Yeah, so uh, thank you, Danny. See how uh, you inspire me. We have the same aesthetic. Yeah. But anyway, guys, um, hope you enjoyed this vlog and uh, you guys uh, look out for the, the upcoming vlogs uh, when it comes to smart dolls because they are amazing. So uh, in the meantime, let's uh, take photos of these uh, three and we're going to, you know, um, check out the clothes that they can, uh, you know, wear. And uh, I, I really like the aesthetic of, of um, smart doll. It, it, it has this vintage old uh, used up clothes post apocalyptic vibe. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's see. All right, so in the meantime, guys, you, you take care. I'm going to see you pretty soon. Don't forget to subscribe to those who haven't subscribed yet. And uh, check out the other videos that we have posted here in my uh, YouTube channel. Take care, guys. See you.